The need for protein will continue to be a big driver on the world wheat market. Dr. Kim Anderson is a grains marketing specialist with Oklahoma State University. Let's start with Russian prices. You go back to the July time period uh, to now, Russian prices have increased about 90 cents a bushel. Meanwhile, what's happened to uh, Oklahoma prices? We probably lost, oh, 60 cents a bushel. So why their prices are going up, ours is going down because they've got all the export demand. When their export demand goes away, then ours comes on and our price goes up. Which Dr. Anderson says could be sometime mid-next year. It depends on the Russian crop size coming in at or below expectations. I think if we reach $6, it probably will not be until June of next year. And if we reach 6 that's because the, the, the Russian wheat crop is around $2.5 billion. That will be because uh, we're correct about uh, protein and, and test weight and milling quality demand. And Oklahoma wheat is high quality. That average is better than 12.5 percent protein and better than 60 pound test weight. According to the Reuters news service, Russia has exported 15.2 million tons of wheat since the beginning of the 2018-2019 season. That's an increase of 21 percent. But Dr. Anderson thinks there's a reason why Russia is emptying warehouses so quickly. In Russia, because of uh, potential for the Russian government to either put a tax on or restrict exports, the, the Russian uh, companies or the companies doing business over in Russia are front-loading their wheat exports. In other words, they're get, trying to get those sales in place and shipped before anything happens from, from the government. Well, that's taking demand from Oklahoma and Texas and the hard red winter wheat. When Russia runs out of wheat to sell, and at the rate they're going, that should be in the January, February time period, then our prices uh, will go up because the world will need our wheat again and they'll be buying it. Right now, Russian wheat is averaging 11.5 to 12.5 percent protein content. Dr. Anderson says U.S. wheat growers need 12 percent or better when the prices start to climb. If you don't produce better than 12 percent protein and really around 12.5, if you don't produce a better than that protein with about 60 pound test weight, you can get by with 59 pound test weight wheat. You're not going to get that six dollars. If you produce a wheat that's uh, say 11.5 or less protein and say be, uh, below 58 pound test weight, then you're going to be back down in that three dollar and fifty cent to four dollar price range because the world is not going to want your wheat. Dr. Kim Anderson with Oklahoma State University. I'm Don Atkinson reporting for the Oklahoma Wheat Commission and Oklahoma Genetics Incorporated.